And we are back. Tuesday night pro scrims. I'm Mr. X. That is Revan. And, you know, we're watching Complexity versus Curse right now. Curse, they lead the series 3-1, to one, moving into Raid, Search, and Destroy. And Curse, they've been impressing me so much tonight. I mean, they, they impressed me last week. And they're impressing me again tonight, you know. Their, their teamwork was a little off on CTF, but I mean, that'll come with time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, their hard point game has looked phenomenal. They've come out extremely strong. Unfortunately, they weren't able to accumulate enough pro points to attend the Full Sail Invitational. If you're wondering who the four teams are going to be attending that event are, it's going to be Complexity, Unite Gaming, Optic Gaming, and FaZe. They are your top four teams heading into that event. Yeah, I mean, you know, with I mean Optic Gaming, obviously, with new addition of JCAP, they're going to be extremely fun to watch. Unite with Killa, and, you know, FaZe, like we were saying before, extremely underrated. It's going to be an awesome event. All right, so the next matchup in tonight's pro scrim, or the next map, it's going to be Raid Search and Destroy. This is one of Complexity's favorite maps, and once again, I feel like this is going to be another must-win map for them. Oh, yeah, of course, this is a must-win map, and I, I think you're really going to need to see some different variation of strategy, you know, lots of ring pushes from everybody. Actually, I love doing a middle push on this I, map. I like the middle push, too. You know, I actually, it's kind of funny. I was watching, I saw, I think it was, it was a far end stream. I don't know from where, but Search and Destroy, this map, both teams, defense and offense, sent everybody middle. That's got to be crazy. It was a little wild. Who won? Uh, offense, actually. Won. Offense? Okay. I think that one big rock you get right from a zig, it's huge, that's yeah. the, the power point or the power position there. But, I mean, when you go up through the middle of the map, as soon as you take control of Kitchen, you can immediately work the A bomb site. But not only that, if you just have a good middle presence, it just makes the other team so worried. Right, because they don't know where to overload on one side it's extremely difficult to play defense when i mean they can, from middle you can really go anywhere that's the thing all right so it looks like the map has started complexity versus curse who do you have taking this map give uh, me a round count i'm gonna say complexity six five i'm gonna say curse six zero charges okay. acquired i don't know why i'm just feeling it and the host end of the game all right maybe somebody's got the wrong score streaks wrong class setup but yeah. I mean, I feel like we've talked about this before, but I want to talk about it again. Tell yeah. me what you think about the RCXD. On this map, um, on this map actually, I kind of like it. I think it could be useful. You know, I've seen people, they'll get the RCXD, they'll go into, uh, like, the weight room when they plant the bomb, then they'll okay. drive it all the way towards the bomb and just sit on the bomb. But I think it's more useful, obviously, as, like, a camera scouting than actually killing people, you know? You don't see too many kills with an RCXD. And I have some... <clears throat> Excuse me. You Looks like I just lost my voice. Oh my god. You okay? <clears throat> do it again. Do it again. Hello. Is it better? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I ate a lot of Chipotle. And so I think the hot sauce is starting to, starting to kick in. A li little in, a, in the chest? Yes, exactly. You scared me a little bit right there. I I'm thought alive. you were just going to. Yeah. I'm okay. I mean, I hope you're alive. I'm, if you were not alive right now and you were speaking to me, that would be have, really weird. You wouldn't have a co caster. No, I'd be doing this by myself and clearly we've seen me drive the car i'm not not too efficient all right so it's but, a good thing you're alive yeah just going through these players no rcxd card from curse okay so i'm immediately sad Protect everybody except for aix on complexity has one i mean yeah i mean the rcxd is kind of nice to have it's always i mean to get that first streak i mean it's always beneficial and it, it's not completely useless on this map all right, so it's going to be blind fire. Very aggressive through the middle of the map. Is able to find a pick on the Clayster, but in the end, a better trade for Complexity as they have the man advantage 3-2. to two. But it looked like the game plan for Curse right there is to be aggressive through the middle, get that quick plan off at the B bomb site. But after losing, I believe it was Complex, died to the first pick from Clayster. Their push was effectively shut down from there. Yeah, once that first pick went down in the middle, I think they decided right on the fly to just kind of push Clayster and Kitchen. And right after that, they kind of just trade. The trading was unfortunate for them. You know, I, they got picked off. And I believe it ended in a three-on-one. So it's extremely difficult to win that. I mean, that whole push, if you have middle control, which is Complex's job, that really allows the bomb carrier to safely plant the bomb because he doesn't have to be worried about getting shot through the pillar side of the map. So once Complex died there, Blind Fire was a bit too aggressive or a bit too anxious to try to make something happen and eventually they lost the round. Yeah, and I mean, you notice this is a, a reasonably different play that we see from Curses. They really don't send anybody over to A. You don't see anyone pushing A down the stairs or anything of that sort. We have a four-on-one right now against 
Curse and Dad, I mean, you're not going to win rounds like that. Yeah, and Curse, they had a ton of trophy systems over near the laundry side. I, I'm not sure. Well, I don't remember who I was watching. I think it was Crim6 was throwing grenade after grenade. Yeah, it was Crim because he dies here. Yeah. He threw, like, two grenades up in top laundry, and they both got taken out. So he had a guy stuck in the corner in top laundry, tried to get a frag on him. But trophy system saving destroyed. the day there for Curse. Yeah, you know, the, it's one thing that we're going to see over the next few months and towards the end of the life of the game is that we're seeing a tons of more trophy systems, you know? So it's going to be interesting how people start countering these trophy systems. So another middle push, but once again, Complex getting out sniped from Clayster. Let's see how Blindfire reacts this time around. So you see him, he's a bit further pushed up on the bomb site, so he can't get shot from his side at the pillars. So the bomb does get planted from Blindfire fairly early on in the round, but so far it's going to be Miracles. Blindfire finds one more in the back. He's going to go for the challenge here. Great round Good from job. Blindfire, picking up round. both Clayster and Crimsix here in the round ending kill camp. Huge round from Blindfire. And the, uh, the rest of Curtis, you know, they got first blooded again. I believe it was Complex who went down in the middle and for them to come back and win that round I mean that's huge those are the types of plays that I mean when you maps sides. and when you search to destroy games but I was looking at the picture in picture search as well destroy. miracles was heating up he was on something like a, a three kill spree so I just want to flip there okay so not as close as I would have thought to the house from but what about blind fire he's a, a bit closer but nothing really significant let's go back on board with the offense here as it looks like complexity they're gonna be working the b-bomb site once again yeah you know they're they're trying to get control of that by, you know, throwing a lot of tacticals and putting some fire down. But, you know, like you were saying, Curse has tons of trophy systems, and that's preventing from them to really get any type of really good positioning here in the ring. I can't switch off Blind Fire right now. He's on a three kill spree. He's around three quarters of the way towards his house. Limit, so, but he's going to get pressured by Complexity right here. Crimsix right around the corner. Twist is going for some help, but doesn't get there in time. In fact, Clayster watches Crimsix's back right there. Hey, look, clean up the kill onto Twist. So now it's a two on one. Make it a one on one as Complex does find Clayster. Yeah, I mean, that was just a great shot out of Complex. I mean, there's nothing you can really do about that. And we're going to see one on one right here. This is going to be oh, a <laughs> huge job. round. From Complex round. is just making big play after big play on Search and Destroy. He's the Search and Destroy All Star here. Another one on two clutch for Complex and Curse Gaming. Solid shots on the Crim6. I mean, Initially, Complex had the better position. He is behind the head glitch there, but, you know, he uh, gave it up to sides. challenge Krim right there. And, you know, luckily for him, he did win that gunfight. Uh, Curse, they're going to increase their lead. They're up 3-1 right now. And I'll look at our scoreboard again. So 5-2 to two is going to be Complex. Yeah, and I mean, you know, that shot that he just had there in the middle, I mean, that's such an extremely difficult shot. I mean, these guys make it look so easy, but a shot like that is against a player of Krim 6 caliber. Oh, that's yeah. impressive. And Clayster, he's been winning this snipe down middle just about every single round. And now it was off the twist. Never mind. Very Get quick round for, for complexity. Round. And that was a big round for them because it stops every player from Curse for from gaining score streaks. Yeah, I mean, gaining streaks and also for gaining momentum. You know, for Complex to win another two on one. And then t it would be like almost like, all right, the same thing's happening that happened on Meltdown, mm -hmm. you know. So it's extremely important they put an end to that and try and Search get some momentum back in this game. Okay, so complexity on offense. I'm still waiting for an A push up. And you called it. They can like, hear you. I feel like Nostradamus right now. Right, that's the guy who's predicted. Well, he didn't really predict anything right. Predicted a lot of stuff, I think. Yeah, but not Well, he was correct. famous for like all of his predictions, I think. Yeah, if I remember my history correct. Yeah, but none of them I don't think have been right. But all right, let's stop talking we can about look Nostradamus. That up later, yeah. Let's talk about some Call of Duty. Okay, what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about Crim6. He's a robot. Well, if you've ever watched his interview when uh, he was playing Halo professionally, so that, well, I got started in Team Bomber. Snipers, and, and you're seeing <laughs> this, this sniper this go to work how, here. Yeah, this is how you become a sniper. I mean, he's just automatic with that thing. Job, and, you know, that A push round. really, I think, caught Curse off guard because, like I was saying earlier, it was their defensive setup's a little weird where they, they have a guy kitchen, they have two guys in laundry, and then they kind of position a guy at the L wall, but he rotates back pretty quickly if he doesn't see anybody. So I think that delay Switching push kind of ruined their rotation point. right there. All right, effective push coming out of Search complexity as they are able to win their offensive round from an A push. So we'll see how Curse decides objective. to respond. I mean, more times than not, as soon as one team goes A, the other one tries the best them at it in the, the next round. Acquired. But it's going to be blind fire. He's been doing this middle rush every single round. Eats a sniper shot there from Clayster, and he's going to be pressuring him. Does have It looks like that's a smoke grenade as this tactical here. The bound carrier complex is going to be watching his back at mid, but Clayster... Good patient play coming from him. Now he's only one away from that R60. Yeah, you know, Clayster's just catching fire right now. And, you know, I do like the ideas from Curse right here. You know, to push middle 
and they push two guys middle, and then they basically pick which bomb spot they're going to go for. And they send either the two guys to A or the two guys to B. And right here, I mean, it just it didn't look like it worked out. I, mean, I, said, I was holding my breath because it was, it was getting a little weird there. But, you know, <laughs> uh, it didn't work out. But, you know, I do like the strategy out of Curse. If you tinker with it a little, I think it could be extremely effective. I mean, Blind Fire has yet to be picked off the start here. He's very close to that round, but... Other times, he's gotten right up to that front Switching kitchen door. He's ready, usually point. made that pick on the Clayster after Complex gets out snipe, and then Search he and goes over to the B bomb site. But it looks like that time, when he went for the challenge Clayster, he started to adapt to that, and then he picked a nice corner to sit in and pick up the kill. Yeah, you know, when you can get a guy into kitchen on offense, that changes everything from a defensive standpoint because uh, the guys at laundry are going to have to turn around. I mean, respect the fact that you push the guy all the way through. And the guys at A are really going to have to turn. They can't really watch both ways. It's extremely difficult. Another A push coming from Complexity is going to be TP leading the way with the bomb. And if he plants this, he will earn another R60 for Complexity. But you got Complex also trying to flank around. We'll see if he's able to make anything happen from here. Has a sniper looking in the right direction. Does find one player. Looks like that was Clayster, who's now highlighted on your screen. But now, Complexity, what do they know? They know that one's over near the money window. They know that one's now in cutout, and Complex was near the flank. Yeah, you Maybe know. Maybe you try to rotate around? Yeah, and uh, right now, I mean, actually, you saw great plays out of Curse, just with uh, nice baiting and switching in the middle, I believe, with Complex and BL Fire. To, I, they picked up Clayster, and then when Teep rotated right here, you saw a perfect play. Complex was in middle on the rock, took a shot. Teep went to go challenge, and BL Fire came right through and cleaned him and Krim both up. Great. Job uh, from Curse, retaking that A bomb site after Complexity initially took control. Uh, so now we're all tied up at four rounds apiece. And who exactly has something to objectives. use? So Clayster, he's got an RCXD. Well, we Anybody from Curse have anything? Nope. So I want to watch Clayster. Yeah, you know, and he's got a sniper rifle too. So it's always cool to watch people with <laughs> sniper rifle. And he gets picked off right there from Miracles. And you don't really see Miracles use a sniper too much. I believe I didn't see that when he was on impact. Bomb well, Complex, down. he's been losing that snipe just about every single round. So Miracles says, you know what, man? Let me I'll just hit this. the damn shot, and he makes it work there. Now, Teep, he's left all alone over near the laundry side of the map, but you got Aix. He's going for a long flank. I'm going to switch on board with him because it looks like he will be able to make something happen. Finds one inside the ring. Patient shots. Doesn't Ooh, pick up the kill, difficult. though. Yeah, you know, but it looks like Teep picks him up, so you know, now they get back to a two-on-two, -two, and uh, he's definitely going to call that guy out laundry. Oh, that's unfortunate. Finish the mission. <laughs> You're all that remains. Sometimes it just isn't your day. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> those cars have a mind of their own, man. All right, so now it's a two-on-one situation for TP. Set. Bomb does get planted near the A bomb site. Twiz, he's over near Kitchen Miracles near the pool stairs. So Teep, he's going to fight two individual one-on-ones here. Finds Twiz inside the kitchen, picks up back kill, making it a one-on-one. -on -one. You see where, where Miracles is located. He's got a sniper in his back pocket. So Teep, it's going to be a bit tougher for him to challenge, but if Miracles misses this first shot, Teep could definitely capitalize on it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> It's extremely difficult to get this guy out of top pool building. When, even when you know he's there, you can play extremely defensive like you see Miracles play. All right, so Teep just trying to bait him out from that top window. Finds him down low, but 10 seconds remaining. Takes seven and a half to defuse, and that's going to do it right there. He's going to search for the kill on the Miracles. Did Miracles actually get that bomb plant? I think he did. Yeah, smart oh, play. Oh, yeah. jumped off. Squad. Wow, clutch play the there. Round. Yeah, smart play to jump off, but I mean, you see that power position right there, that top. Art build, uh, top laundry building. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think that that might have been just on our end right destroy. now. Yeah, probably. It looks like the players, huh. they seem to be fine, but Curse, they do eventually win that I'll round, but smart objectives. play by Teep jumping off right before Charges that bomb exploded acquired. and gave uh, Miracles, what, 400 points from that? Yeah, and I mean, that I don't think he, pro he might have been close to streaks, but... You know, it's still a smart play. You don't want to give up those points, and you're you're probably you were gonna lose the round regardless because the bomb was going to go off. RCXD scoping things out over near back laundry. Blind fire. He does get first pick on the crimson, so the RCXD will find one top laundry, but it gets taken out before it is able to connect. But you see two curse players pushing down the middle of the map. Clayster is looking in the right position, but I think now they might decide to make their move. Actually, they're gonna back up and just hold map controls. They have numbers advantage, four to two. And if they win this round, they go up 4-1 to one in the series. Yeah, you know, smart play is from Curse. You know, they don't need to force anything. They were up, man. And now they're just going to kind of play it out. And, you know, they know the they know they have to push mid-map. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Up. All up to Clayster and a two-on-one. Just find the kill on the Twins. Can he clutch it out? He knows the last play. Complex, he's over near the pillows. Complex immediately up. backing down. 30 seconds remaining in the round. 
Clayster versus Complex. This is what it Complex is doing. Mission. He's going to rotate around through the pull left. side of the map. Clayster has to pick up the bomb, and he's got to go for the bomb, bomb plan acquired. here. Yeah, you know, you see an interesting play from Complex. He's going to go all the way around, and, you know, right now he had a great position in the middle of the map. He probably could have waited it out. Planted. So the bomb does go down. Clayster just using the bomb for some sort of cover right now. Does find Complex over near Zigzag. Complex will challenge here with the sniper, but Clayster picks up the kill, and he earns another RCX team moving into round number 11. Huge kill right there, man. You know, I, I, if I was Complex, I probably would have played a middle map. And, you know, you see shooting the trophy system, even get that extra 50 mm -hmm. points would probably earn him the RC car. But, you know, right now, Overtime. both teams, you need to focus on getting that first blood. If you can get that first Search blood, that's huge, huge, huge for this round. And I think using the RCXT on Defend defense, it's a lot more useful than using it on offense, and that's exactly what Clay's going to do here. Well, he doesn't really have an option. This is going to be the last round, but he's going to look middle. Doesn't see anybody pushing here as he makes his way over towards the B bomb site. Oh, wait. Miracles does get the first pick on the Crim6, but at least they get the information that, all right, Curse are going to be making a B push. Right, you know, now, now that they know they're going to be in going for B, you can kind of set up and figure out how you're going to attack this. You've got to work and try and get an easy pick right here of your complexity. You can't, you can't really risk a guy to get one guy because then, you know, I mean, you're just going to be down two more players. So you really have to bait and switch and just find an easy kill. I think it's going to come down to Ace here. Finds one on the driveway, but he gets taken out now. It's a three-on-two situation as TP was able to find the kill on the Miracles. There goes TP all up to Clayster here on one on three. Complexity, they got to win this map. He finds one kill. There goes Complex, but the remaining two members are behind him. Unfortunately, he goes for the jump onto the head glitch. Blindfire is going to pick him off. You're going to see it one more time in the round ending kill can. Yeah, you know, just smart plays from Curse. They they ha they kept that man advantage. They didn't stay too close together. They Perfect spacing, and you know, they pick up these easy kills that win search and destroy games. Curse, they go up four to one in map count tonight on Pro Screams. They are one map away from closing it out and taking out complexity once again. Let's take one final look at the scoreboard 12 and seven from Blindfire. Clayster also went 12 and seven, but more kills in favor of Curse, given that final round win. Yeah, you know, Beal Fire just dominated the middle of the map right there. On offense, he just kept pushing Kitchen, and he was able to pick up easy kills in the round. And then you also saw planting the bomb, doing more objective mm -hmm. work over in the ring. So just huge plays from him all around. All right, Curse, they dom well, they don't dominate, but they inch out that win on Raid Search and Destroy. We're going to head to a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to see if Curse can close out complexity on the next map. It looks like it's going to be standoff capture the flag.